Damn, Amoya has come a long way. Up, buddy nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kono Oto Tomer chapter 95. So, last chapter, my god, Mamoya has grown so much. So, like, Mamoya came to the conclusion that, um, that what he needs to do, that what his role in the club is to adjust his sound because he has um perfect pitch and he has really good rhythm so and he can adjust his sound to anybody and make it sound really really good and that's what his role is going to be and what he did in, instead of like forcing someone else to do it um he got he changed his picks and he's gonna change up his playing style which he, he could definitely do so Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us this month. And chapter 95 is uh, titled Diminished Chord. Yay, we got a freaking musical, musical term title. Oh my god, my music nerd, my band geek nerd it is, just, is just living right now. <laughs> I couldn't understand what happened. What had happened. Momoya Ken was always looking ahead with his back in front of me. Even though we always had club together, he was always so far away. I'll be the one who will change my nails and my sound. Hey, wait. Why, why would you, your sound? It's worthwhile to keep, to keep alive. It'll make the song more interesting. But that doesn't mean you have to. I don't exactly have any lingering attachments for my nails anyway. And plus he can do it, plus, as I said, Momoya, what he realized um, last chapter, he realized I'm the only one that can do this. I'm the um, only one that's talented enough to do this because he could was able to do it with um, with drums. No reason why he can't do it with uh, with Kodo either. What? Momoya Ken is going to change his nails? Essentially. Does that mean the problem concerning tone is fixed? Maybe. I won't know until I try playing. Huh? What are you doing? Amazing. You're seriously so freaking amazing. All this time I've been thinking for ways to Yoshinaga to correct his sound, but I never thought to change his surroundings instead. I never thought of it. Amazing. That was like such a huge blind spot. Well, Chica, I love you. I fucking love you, but let's be real. You would have never thought of that. You really wouldn't have ever thought of that. Um, and, oh God. And I, and. As, you know, Momoya said last chapter, Yoshinaga wouldn't have been able to change his sound. Anyway. You're making such a fuss about it. This is normal for people who play music. It, it really is. Whoa. Whoa, Momoya Can you not? You, know, you did all this for Yoshinaga's sake? Don't say anything you regret, all right? <laughs> uh, okay, but it's true, though. He did it for his sake. I already told everyone about Yoshirin's nails yesterday, so they all know. Um, Momoya, can you... Damn, you talked about it? Yeah, I'm sorry for going behind your backs. We were thinking of a way to solve this without making you change your nails. I'm, I'm sorry. Huh? Why? If only I could adjust my tone. I caused you all so much trouble. And put the uh, put the burden of changing nails onto Momoya, kun Not being able to adjust your tone is not something to apologize over. It's your personality. You should play the way you want without reservation. Uh, but the thing about your classic style being vague, that's more of a concern over your skills. So if you could work on... No, oh, wait. Is this really Momoya-kun? Momoya! You, wow, wow, Momoya! You really are something! Uh, this back of my throat feels hard. It feels hot. My heart feels heavy. I really, really want to play now. Um, Can I try to match Momoya-kun's new sound? Oh, this is going to be good! Well, of course, let's do this. I'm so psyched. Well, then, let's start from the top. All right. Let's begin. Here we go. Let's see how this is going to work. <gasps> yes! Amiyu! I love you right now, Amiyu. Look how beautiful this is. I love, 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 love. Metaphorical slash symbolic art. If you've followed me lo long enough, you know this. 
And that's why I love this, one of the reasons why, one of many reasons why I love this manga so much. And look at this panel right here. You have Yoshinaga, who is divided from the rest of the group, and the rest of them are blurred. Love it! It's the usual scene. I still can't quite see how my sound is vague. It's hard to grasp. Maybe it's because it's always been that way, so I can't see it. You should play the way you want without reservation. Half a year ago. What's this about Yoshinaga? Uh, what's this about Yoshinaga sound? Yes, well, we discussed this with Satoa-san during camp, and his sound alone is totally different from the others. We think it'd be best for him to change his nails right away. Hmm. No, it's fine. Yoshinaga, Yoshinaga is the fine uh, the way he is, but it's interesting, isn't it? If they can. Uh, get it to fit, uh, that contrast becomes a plus rather than a minus. I agree with that. That's true, but I'm saying this because this fitting in doesn't seem like it will happen. Um, the bass sound for the second and third years is very firmly set. If not addressed, Yoshinaga's sound, um, alone will remain fleeting, but he isn't alone, is he? There's another. The one with no face in his music. A.K.A. Mamoyan. Uh, face? It's not that it doesn't have personality, but I think he's doing it on purpose. He's extremely shrewd, his sense towards music at least. What's needed then isn't for Yoshinaga's sound to change, but... Ooh. Yes! Art! Oh, I needed this art! It's Momoyan leading everyone to Yoshinaga! I love it! Of you! I love this art! And I love that with this panel in particular, compared to when we saw Yoshinaga isolated, it's bright. And it's beautiful. And, it, and the divide is gone! Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it! He's crying! <laughs> Your sound should remain yours, n not as one that's out of place, but as one that can become alive. Yes! <laughs> I love it! Amazing, the moment there's a sound along Yoshinaga's, it's starting, uh, it starts sounding this good? The sound of the entire piece grew deeper in an instant. Yeah, how are you two so, are you kidding? Momoya, dude, why are you motherfuckers underestimating Momoya's skills? Like, amazing. It's like everybody's sound is so, as much clearer. The sounds around me and my, and my own sound, I can hear them all so well. Just like this, we'll enter the four part. I think we can do it. All right, let's go. The con conditions for perfection are within their sights. I love, love, love this chapter. Amiu, this chapter is so beautiful. It is. Oh my god, I love the art this month is just in fucking incredible. I love this art. Oh, I wish Platinum Vision didn't ruin it. Oh, I hate them. They ruined Devil's Line and they ruined this manga's adaptation. Oh, but man, Ami, this, like, shit like that is why I can't watch anime adaptations anymore. But this, uh, but that's a whole different thing. This is gorge. This is gorge. And, like, I feel like on a non-musical level, I feel like all of us can relate to it. Really. Because there's a meta, a, because the metaphor is this. Metaphor slash analogy is this. And I... And it's very powerful what Ami is doing. It's that you don't have to conform to um, to everyone. You don't have to change who you are. In this case, um, Yoshinaga doesn't have to change his sound, his unique sound. He doesn't have to change himself. No, someone else can help. In this case, with uh, someone else can um, bridge the gap, help bridge the gap between the groups. It's Yoshinaga wasn't able to do it, but Momoya was able. And the reason why Momoya is able to do it. And again, I'm surprised, like, everyone was, why was everyone underestimating Momoya like that? Like, Momoya is a, obviously a musical genius. He's a, or a musical prodigy, from what it sounds like to me. And he has perfect pitch. He can adapt to any, he could probably play any instrument he wants. He has perfect pitch. 
he can tell what note needs to be in place. He can change, he can hear the sound and figure out where the sound needs to be changed, uh, where he needs to adjust. And that's why, you know, he played for, he was uh, hired so much as a drummer for rock bands because he can adjust his sound. And it's so brilliant. I love it. I love this chapter. I do. I love what this chapter is saying from a musical standpoint and from a life standpoint, too. Because the thing is, is with Yoshinaga and Momoya, and yeah, you can make the argument that all of them are unique in their own way, but Momoya and Yoshi Yoshinaga are extremely unique. And in a way, they're kind of, they're like polar opposites if you think about it. <laughs> but I love it. I really do love it. And, and I think in a way, Momoyan kind of sees himself in Yoshinaga. And also that Yoshinaga is just like too pure and he needs to be protected <laughs> in what he does. But man, I gotta say, like, Momoya is like a, mu um, a musical prodigy version of, of Kudo. He really is. I think I said it last chapter as well. He is. That's what I think. Um, I'm curious what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me about this chapter? Um, I think it's one of the most, it's one of the most power, or I should say these past couple of chapters have been some of the most powerful chapters in this manga, especially as of late. They really have. I really love what Amiyu has done for Momoyan's character arc. Momoyan's story is so incredible. I really am. In, I really am enjoying Mamoyan's story arc. I'm very curious if anyone else is. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive, so I can keep bringing you more Kota Oda Tamera content. There's a few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe. Purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans. I'll be seeing you later. Bye.